What's going on, everybody? My name is Kevin Ryan, and I am taking a uh, look at Emily Is Away. This is a game that came out yesterday uh, on the 20th, uh, completely free to play. And I heard some mutterings about it on the Twitter sphere uh, about this game that takes place entirely in AOL Instant Messenger. And I didn't think anything of it, uh, but when I logged into Steam today, I, I checked out the new releases and I saw it and I actually uh, read about it. And apparently, it chronicles the relationship between you, the player, and your high school friend, Emily. And it's a little over an hour long. And it has branching storylines and paths and, uh, you know, decisions you can make. Apparently there's buddy icons and things like that. And uh, This is actually incredibly nostalgic already for me uh, because I am a 90s baby. I was born in 1989 and I remember all of this stuff right when, uh, right when it started to become popular and obviously towards the end when it started to lose out to things like uh, Facebook and uh, MySpace and uh, other uh, uh, software like that. Uh, my mother was actually using AOL for the longest time. Uh, back when I would go and visit her, and she would have that, and you know, oh, mom, can I log into your AOL? What's your password? And tie up the phone lines. Oh, good old days. But like I said, yeah, I'm, I'm already feeling nostalgic because when I booted up the game, it actually played the Windows XP login, like that piano, that brief symphony. Um, for example, if I hit reset here. You know, you, there's all this, you know, are you sure you want to reset the game? All of your progress will be lost. I haven't made any progress yet, so let's just hit reset and see what it does. Yeah, see, there you go. <laughs> it's fantastic. I love it. So, yeah, th this game is apparently just a little over an hour long, uh, according to the developers. So, I'm going to play through it in one sitting. So, you are welcome to join me. But like I said, it is free to play. So, if you want to get into it yourself, uh, feel free to stop the video and uh, check it out. Uh, but, you know, if not, sit back, relax, and let's go on this little adventure here. Okay, so, chapter one, 2002. Oh, my God. Senior year. Screen name. Oh, I need a screen name. Okay. Uh, well. Let's see. Hmm. I'm at a bit of a crossroads here. Do I use what my actual screen name was? Or do I use something else for the sake of the video? Um. No, you know it because it's irrelevant nowadays. Now that I think about it. That's what that was. First name, that is Kevin. All right, so I guess, look at this, this is great. It's even got the XP background, this is fantastic. Buddy icon settings, senior. Oh wow, <laughs> Blink 182. <laughs> Skater boy, oh man. One of my best friends would laugh at that one. Uh, let's see here. Harry Harry Potter. Oh, yeah, Harry Potter was relevant in 2002. That's right. Lord of the Rings. I don't know what this one is. What is this one here? I don't know. Let's go with... Oh, I don't know. Let's do 28. Oh, what? Does this impact the story in any way? I bet, they, I bet it does. Here, let's pick something that would be... That we could pick out real easily. Because I'm not entirely sure what this means. 28 Days Later, maybe? Pretty sure that movie came out in 2002. That's a fantastic movie. But we're going to pick Harry Potter. Maybe okay. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> uh, all right. So now we pick a response. Um, I, I was never the type to say, hey, I never was. So we're going to go howdy. Does it type it? Press keys to type the message. Oh, so howdy was what, three? Oh, wow. So I'm just tapping three, the three key on my keyboard, and it says that. So I guess it, it doesn't matter what you say. You just pick a response and then, pre okay, I got you. Yeah, so it did change the story. Okay, cool. So what's up? Talking to you. <laughs> oh, man. 
Uh, nothing much. This is so surreal. I actually legitimately do like Coldplay, and I am frequently on the butt end of jokes for it, but man, Yellow is such a good song. Uh, and Clocks, I love Clocks. Just hitting the space bar <laughs> right now. This is fantastic. Emily will remember that. Okay. Really was. I'm so glad you like them. They're my favorite. Their lyrics are in my info. Are you going to Travis's party tonight? <laughs> it depends on if you're going. I was never that forward back in the day. Um, I was usually pretty shy about my feelings if I had feelings towards a girl. Uh, so we'll go with we'll go with maybe we'll pick we'll go with the neutral response here. This is so weird. Like, but in a good way. Like, in a really good way. <laughs> no fun without you. It's crazy that we're already having end of school parties. Travis is still a shithead. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, time flew by this year, yeah. Can I just hold in the key? That'd be great. Yes, yes, you can just hold in the key. Fantastic. That makes my life a little easier. I'm so over this school. Sounds like my alma mater. <laughs> like, you know, Brad from our math class, he won't stop messaging me right now. Oh my god. Uh, what's he saying? Yeah, being able to hold in the key is fantastic. <laughs> he wants to talk or something. Oh man, just one more month to graduation. We're so old. Oh god. You think you're old now? Wait until you're 26 years old and playing games literally based off your childhood, then you'll feel old. <laughs> okay, so yeah, it's kind of weird cuz I was never excited for college. I am not much of a student. <laughs> I misspelled weird. Oh my god, the attention to detail. <laughs> Eh, I didn't get accepted into my reach school, so I'm just going to be, uh, to go to one of the others. But that's okay. Anything's better than high school. Where are you going to go? Uh, an art school, for sure. Because I'm not good with tools, and I'm not exactly business savvy. Never have been. An art school. I'm not really sure. <laughs> I misspelled what I want to major in but I'm sure I'll figure it out. That's true. Out of high school, I did not know what I wanted to major in. I was I took two semesters uh, at a community college here in Pittsburgh, and I was a liberal arts major, which is a fancy way of saying you have no idea what you want to do. <laughs> That's great. You've always been really talented. I'm sure whatever major you pick, you'll be great. Even though we're going to different schools, do you promise you'll be there for me? a bit forward, but yeah, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I've had these exact conversations to a greater or lesser degree, so I'm, I'm really, like, enjoying myself. Um, see, I, I love those little misspells there, those little retypes that the game throws in. But yeah, I'm really enjoying this um, in many different ways right now. You're one of mine, too. You always will be, Kevin. Oh, wow, it's getting late. I hope Julie gets here soon so we can head to the party. Julie who? Who the fuck is Julie? <laughs> um, Julie who? That's probably what I would ask. Cause if I'm assuming it's somebody I've never heard of. Julie who? So can I look at my buddy list? Is that something I can do? Yes, it is. Travis is away. Emily's online. Okay. Cool. Julie Miller, she's in our math class. Oh, my God. Jesus. 
Went to school with a Julie Miller, I'm pretty sure. She's in our math class. Once she gets here, we're both heading to Travis's party. If you're coming too, you should probably leave soon. Will I see you there? Hmm. Well, I'm assuming I was invited if she's asking me that. And... Hmm. Uh, let's not be a loser. Definitely. Awesome. I'm going to go get ready and wait for Julie. Hopefully Brad stops messaging me once I put up my away message. See you soon. See you. All right. Oh, okay. Well, that was chapter one. God, this is so cool. <laughs> All right. Uh, chapter two. 2003. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, the game. Okay. Yeah, the game. Uh, excuse me. The game chronicles your relationship over the course of five years, I believe it is. So, chapter two. Freshman year of college. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, this is great. Okay, so we have... Yeah, it's 2003. So we got Pirates of the Caribbean, Kill Bill. Kill Bill came out in 2003? Oh, my God. Finding Nemo or The Matrix. Man, what was I all about back then? I loved the Pirates movies, but I was also super into The Matrix back in the day. Um, But Nemo just... Hmm... Nemo's the one I always come back to, mainly because of, um, John, uh, not, uh, God, I can't, why can't I remember the composer's name? His score was amazing. Whatever. We're picking Nemo. Excite Mike. Very nice. Kevin, hey! I like a new icon. Finding Nemo is the beast. <laughs> What's up? Doing some homework and listening to music too. You or to, to music? Oh, I can't read. <laughs> Video games. <laughs> Just playing this video game. What music are you listening to? Snow Patrol. They just came out with a new album, Final Straw. Have you heard it? Oh my! Wow. I wonder if that response is based off of me picking Coldplay because I did, I do also like Snow Patrol. That's kind of insane. Um, I don't remember what was on Final Straw though. Um, I don't remember Final Straw. So do I answer as if I like Snow Patrol? Because I do. Or do I? Uh, hmm. This is tough. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Um. No, I don't think so. Fairly certain I haven't. You should listen to it. It's really good. I'm literally going to go look it up after I'm done playing this. So how are you liking art school? Um, Hard, fun, or boring? Uh... God, uh, we will say, we'll say it's hard. Be up front, we'll be up front. It's hard. I always have a lot of work, but at least I'm learning a lot. Yeah, you know what, uh, when I went to college, I took a painting class. That was an experience. <laughs> oh, man. Think of every stereotype you've ever had about painters, or maybe that you've ever heard, and throw them all into one room. That was that was an experience. Let me tell you what. That's good. At least my classes have all just been boring freshman stuff. Freshy. Got any plans tonight? House party. I was not known for house parties. I you know what? I had one house party back in the day that it's probably one of the best parties ever. If I do say so myself. It was one of my own parties. <laughs> it's a good time. Good, good time. But usually what I always did was hang out with friends. Yeah, I have to go in a few. I'm hanging out with some people 
at my friend Mike's dorm. We're all getting specific here. You chose to hang out with friends. Oh, cool. What are you going to do? Can I, like, talk to other people? We're going to have to try to talk to other people here in a second here. Because this needs to happen. What are you going to do? Uh, having a few drinks. Well, I wasn't old enough at the time. Uh, probably a movie. Most likely a movie. I was never a concert goer. It's the movie. A movie. Final Destination 2. <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, do I invite her to the movie? Nope, Brad has band practice, so I'm just hanging out in my dorm. Oh, she went with Brad? Oh. Sounds like a tool. <laughs> God. Uh, do I know Brad? Brad, he's my boyfriend. You remember him from high school, right? We've been dating for a couple months now. Oh. Good. I'm happy for you. That's what I would say probably back in the days. I'm happy for you, but... I'm a little bit more spiteful, so... <laughs> in my old age, so... Oh, good. How did you two get together? Yeah, good question, uh, virtual me, considering a year ago, he was pretty much your stalker. What's going on here? What's going on? Oh, remember that grad party we went to last year? Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh. First, I thought it was really weird, but after a while, I realized it was kind of brave. We started talking again over the summer and realized we were going to the same school. Once we got here, we just kind of hit it off. Man, I wish every time a girl had a guy proposition her, she thought it was brave. <laughs> uh, I suppose it depends on the nature of the proposition. Do you love him? Well, that's, I mean, after, hmm, okay, that's kind of a... Um... Yeah, I'd probably ask that, actually, yeah. Do you love him? <laughs> I don't know. Love's a strong word. I agree. That's why I almost didn't choose that response. Sometimes he can be a jerk, but when it's good, it's really good. A jerk? Yeah, that's probably what I'd say. That's what I'd say. Wait, how is he a jerk? God, this is st this is still so nostalgic and so surreal. Because I've had these conversations before. Like I said to uh, on some level, I I've had these conversations. It's, it's it's this is nuts. We're both very stubborn people, so we can go back and forth a lot. But like I said, when things are good, they're really good. Yeah, it's normal. I guess that's normal. I've always said that if you don't fight here and there in your relationships, then something's wrong. If you're always agreeing, then either either one of you is lying a lot of the time, or I don't know, it's boring. I don't know. I guess that'd be weird if everybody just agreed all the time. <laughs> and we just get loud when we argue is all. I wouldn't treat you like that. I just really care about you. Sounds like an asshole. Nope, that is what I would say right here. No thought needed. That's exactly what I would say. Oh. See, little touches like that in the game are what I'm, I'm really liking right now because that shows that your character... Um... You know, there, 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 there's, there's a thought there. There's, there's other things there. I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> Can you tell? Listen, I think we're fine. I don't want to talk about this anymore. Oh, diverting. I just don't like him. No, I, I'd apologize. Don't need to. Don't need to make things worse.
you chose to stop talking about it. Oh, could I have continued? Oh, my God. Um. So we we need to we need to decide here what what my intent is. Do I intend to get with Emily? Do I want to date her? Does that is that somebody that I I feel about? Or do I just want to continue playing the neutral role? Now, me personally, I am a sucker for a good love story. Um, the Fountain is one of my favorite movies, and I'm always trying to like hawk that on my friends. <laughs> that movie, fantastic film. You should all go see it. Uh, but yeah, in a nutshell, I'm, I'm, I'm a sucker for a good love story, but a good original love story, like um, the the movies that the Sparks the Sparks novels that get made into movies all the time. Those kinds of things I'm not I'm not really into, but a truly unique kind of love is is what I uh, is what I'm into. And this is a very unique game for sure. Um let's pursue it. Let's pursue it. I can stay. This, this big decision. This big decision I just made. Miss anything. I'll talk to you later. Ah, oh, fail. <laughs> See ya. So what happens now? So she's away. Can I can I talk to other people? Uh, oh! Alright. Chapter 3, 2004. Sophomore year of college. We need to see if we can talk to other people. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, man. Green Day. Oh, my God. Green Day. Usher. I don't know what these are from. <laughs> um, I, I don't, Who is this one? Is this Dre? Is this Dr. One Dre? One Una? I don't know what this is. Mean Girls, dear God. Before Lindsay Lohan took the plunge. <laughs> uh, oh, for sure. Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. Love that. I just got done talking about it. I love a uniquely told love story, and that's exactly what that film was. So, hell yeah, we're t choosing that. Okay. So, before I answer you, uh, my dear, let's experiment here. Um, can I talk to Mike? Oh, I get, I, okay, so you just view their personal profiles. Okay. Let's get ill, that's the deal. At the gate, we bring the bud top drill. Let's get retarded in hand. Let's get retarded in here. <laughs> God. Don't sweat the small stuff, and it's all small stuff. Thanks, Mike. What about Emily? Personal profile, time is running out. You can't push on it. Muse, sometimes the deepest scares. Scars are the ones no one can see. I'm trying. Oh, my God. I keep saying it, but, the, man, this game is just... God, my life. <laughs> Mistakes and regrets. Singer and guitarist. Drummer wanted. Auditions. My dorm... Oh, so he's in a band. I walk this empty street on the boulevard of broken... Dr <laughs> Thanks, Green Day. Light it up, Liz, if you had a choice. Run Snow Patrol. Figuring it out one day at a time. I can look at all these people. Vault Dweller. Nice. Uh, so I can't look at these people. Jules. Don't tell me who I should be. Alex. Now and forever. Okay, so she's dating a guy named Alex. All right. Travis. Surf Club signups. This week only. You can't stop the waves, but you can learn to surf. <laughs> Forever with me, love you, Dad. Okay, so Travis lost his father. That's sad. Um, okay, that'd be kind of funny if, like, while you were doing that, maybe she was like, "Where are you? Hello." <laughs> uh, yo, what up? Oh God. Uh, no. <laughs> maybe then, to be honest. Maybe back then, but not not today. Not not today. <coughs> How's life? I feel like we haven't talked in a while. Eh, it's whatever. Let's be cool. Eh, it's whatever. How's yours? Eh, it's fine. Got any plans this weekend? Warehouse party? Going to a show? What does that mean? What does going to a show mean? Who says that? Is this like the 20s? Ah, I'm going to a show, see? Hey. No. Okay, we're hanging out. That's what we're doing. Just hanging out with my friend, Emma. Oh, God. 
Oh no. What have I done? What has virtual me done? Who is Emma? That sounds like fun. AKA who the fuck is Emma? Ah, see, there it is. <laughs> no, I want to be with Emily. She's been my f long time best friend. Call Emma's a friend. She's a friend. She means nothing to me, babe. <laughs> oh, she's one of my friends. Am I being coy? I'm not trying to be coy. Is virtual me being coy with that response? Should I have said that? Oh, God, I don't know. Oh, cool. I don't think I've heard you talk about her before. How did you two meet? Who just signed on? I don't, I don't know. Okay, anyway. How did you meet? Mike introduced us at a party just in class, probably. Oh, come on. Come on, virtual me. Spell the word right. She's an art student, just like me. Well, if I'm going to an art school... Come on. <laughs> so, do you like her? Ooh! Emily's out in my business. Do I like her? No. The virtual me may like her, but I don't know anything about her. So, no. Not really. Not a damn clue. Just a good friend. She understands me, Emily. Sounds like things are going really well. <laughs> yeah, I've got friends. <laughs> That's just so great. Oh, my God. So how's everything? What are you... Yeah, what are you up to tonight? What are you doing? Emma's cool. But you're on my mind. Me and Brad were supposed to go to a party, but that's not happening. We broke up last week. Fuck yeah! I mean, I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, Emily, I'm so sorry. How are you? How are you? You okay? You haven't even noticed my buddy icon yet. What is going on? Me and him are the same group of friends, so things are messy. I just feel really alone. You know? I'm here for you. That's what I would say. I know, and thank you for that. I just feel really abandoned. So how are classes? <laughs> um... I'm really uncomfortable right now. Um, so, how are your classes? <laughs> no. Why did you guys break up? What's going on? Did he hit you? I will beat the fuck out of Brad. Damn right I chose to ask about the breakup. Guess we just kind of grew apart? Question mark. I feel like Brad changed a lot over the summer. And things were just different when we got back. Oh man, now I'm starting to cry. He's not worth it. <laughs> See, once again, little touches like that in the text. I, I like that a lot. Really like that a lot. For being such a mess. You're not a mess. Come on. You just leak sometimes. I'm about to be a mess, though, because you have not noticed my buddy profile, or my buddy pic. What's going on with you? It's totally okay. It is totally okay. Never a bad thing to cry. It's nice to be able to talk about this. I haven't really had the chance to vent yet. I know you'd do the same. Emily is deleting. Oh, I forgot it showed you when they would delete stuff. I want to ask you something, but I'm afraid you'll hate me after. Promise me you won't hate me. Man! Again. My life. <laughs> At 
Travis's party senior year. Remember how we got bored and went for that walk? Oh yeah, I did go. That's right. We stopped at the playground for a bit. And we just laid there and looked at the stars. Well, why didn't you kiss me? Whoa! Why didn't Virtual Me kiss her? Good lord. You're together at night at a park looking at the stars? Why the fuck didn't I kiss her? You were... You were... No, you weren't even seeing anybody then. You didn't start dating Brad until freshman year of college. Why didn't I? But it's true. I didn't want to screw things up. That's always the reason. Always the reason. Just always wondered how things would be if you did. I don't know. It's kind of stupid, I guess. You should have told me. Yeah, yeah, blame her. That'll go over well. I've wondered that, too. You were just going to sit here and wonder? No. Fuck no. I wish I could have kissed you. Of course I wish. Hey, I have an idea. Let's kiss. <laughs> Maybe I could come visit this weekend. I could really use some time away from this school. We always said we would visit each other. What do you think? As long as it's just friends, not a good... Yeah, no, please come visit. Great. Oh, man, now I'm really excited. Why do I have... Oh, what about your plans with Emma? I can ditch her. I'll talk to her about it. I'm not going to make up an excuse. Again, Emma is just a friend, so if I tell her that the girl of my dreams and I just had this conversation, Emma, as my friend, better understand it and get with that program. Because if she doesn't, uh-uh, uh-uh. Okay, I just don't want to mess things up. Oh, cute, Emily. Thanks. <laughs> what do you want to do this weekend? Hang out in my dorm. Oh, God. Then we're going to come into year four and I've got a kid. <laughs> Hang out in my dorm. That sounds creepy. Go to some parties. That also kind of sounds creepy. Some stuff around campus. Uh, let's go with that. I'm usually the type of guy that would like go to like... If we're just, like, seeing each other and hanging out, we'd probably get, like, dinner or breakfast, lunch, whatever time of day it is. Go get some coffee, some shit like that, you know. You chose some stuff around campus. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Should I bring my alcohol? Oh, God. Oh, God. Should you bring your alcohol? Um, We don't need any. I'm so excited to finally come and visit. Oh shit, I actually have to run. But I'll see you this weekend, okay? Of course. Of course. Didn't even once mention Eternal Sunshine. So disappointed. So disappointed in you. Now, I wonder, because of the nature of that film, Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind, I wonder if that influenced how she was because the idea of us laying together looking up at the stars that's almost taken out of a scene from Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind when Jim Carrey and Kate Winslet are actually laying on the ice uh, in a frozen pond and doing pretty much exactly the same thing so maybe that that's that's what influenced that side of the conversation was picking the movie Eternal Sunshine now if we if we travel down that same logic, what if I picked the Matrix? And it would have been Remember that one time you got shot six times? And I had to tell you I loved you, and then you were reborn? <laughs> That's very interesting. I'd i I'd, I'd have to go through this on a second playthrough of myself. Hmm. Alright, so chapter four. Alright, what do we got here? Batman Begins. 
I don't know what these other ones are, actually. Wedding Crashers. Oh, that was a great film. V for Vendetta. Was that 2005? Oh, wow. I just watched that the other night, actually. That's, a, that's also a fantastic film. Um, what? What movie did I actually like better? I actually liked V for Vendetta better than Batman Begins, I think. Not better than The Dark Knight, mind you, but better than Batman Begins. So we'll pick V for Vendetta. It's a good film. Hey. Yo, yo. No, 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 we're not. No. <laughs> hey. I know it's been a while since we last talked. No worries. I'd say that. That sounds like something I'd say. I've just been going through a lot lately. Everything okay? What's the matter? Yeah, everything is fine. So listen, I was hoping we could talk about things. Oh god, what happened? What happened? <laughs> okay, sure. What 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 did I do? What did virtual me do to screw this up now? I just feel like things are weird between us. Oh god, what am I doing? Have you felt like that? Ugh. So me, real me, the player, I'm completely ignorant of what has been going on between me and Emily. So, I don't want to say I feel weird, too, because I don't want to lose her. Like, that's, that's, that's my goal. We decided this. We decided this in year two, that my goal was to be with Emily. But if things are off, things are off, you know? But I, mm, I don't want to be that guy that's completely ignorant. I haven't noticed anything. Huh, pass the corn chips. <laughs> uh... God, I don't think so. We'll go with that. It's neutral. Because I don't know. I don't know what's going on. So I need her to I need her to tell me. I think it's because of last year. Oh my god, what did I do? Things have been weird since I came to visit. Kevin, please be honest with me. Did you plan that we would hook up? No. No, I didn't. I specifically planned against it if I'm being honest I would say I thought it was possible that would be the honest answer because I mean like when you go on a first or second date or whatever or if you're just hanging out like that especially having a conversation about like wanting to kiss each other then of course when you hang out that weekend with the intent of like you know hang it you know there's always that chance I think everyone would reasonably expect that chance but I I picked do some stuff around campus. I didn't say parties. I didn't say dorm because I didn't want to be creepy like that. But at the same time, you never know. So we're going to go with I thought it was possible. You just never know. You never know. Emily will remember that. Oh, God. That was, in retrospect, it all just seems so planned out. It wasn't planned out. I mean, we hung out with your friends around campus. I didn't know my friends were going to be there. And then we'd go back to your dorm to spend the night. You must have known how vulnerable I was. No! J I didn't think it was an issue. I just wanted to have fun. No, God! Who am I? Virtual... Oh, God. This is Jared Fogel shit. <laughs> I don't want to say I didn't know, because I did know. You know, she confessed her feelings to me about how she was feeling after uh, after Brad and all that, and... I don't want to say I didn't think it was an issue because now I'm being ignorant of her feelings. Like, really ignorant of her feelings. I just wanted to have fun. That comes off as sounding like, you know, here's a roofie. <laughs> We're going to go with Oh, shit. <laughs> None of these responses are good at all. Ugh. Um. All right. Uh, game time. Game time. Game time. Game time. Game time. I didn't know, but I didn't know. I didn't think it was an issue. I definitely didn't think it was an issue. All right, we're going to go with that. 
Good job, virtual me. Cover your cover your ass. I knew. I did know. I just didn't think it was an issue. You wanted to hook up. Whoa, yeah, don't. There you go. I don't know. Good job. Good job, virtual me. Good 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 audible. It wasn't an issue. I just I don't know. Did I do something wrong? Yeah, that's a reasonable question. It's gotten tense quick. <laughs> you chose to ask about yourself. Oh, fuck. God, should I not have asked about myself? Is that selfish? Is that being too selfish? <sighs> Just made me feel differently. I don't want to apologize because I, w I wouldn't be, I mean, if it was consensual and we had fun at the time, I wouldn't, I wouldn't apologize for it. In a bad way? <laughs> Differently in a Vader? <laughs> Is that what I was going to write? No, not bad, just different. I don't know. Will we ever be the same? You don't... <laughs> yeah, okay, predict the future. Are we still friends? <sighs> yeah, that's... Yeah, I'd probably go with that. This is depressing, man. I knew something bad was going to happen. I was way too uppity in year three. Yeah, at least I think so. I'm sorry, things are just really weird for me right now. But thank you for talking to me about it all. We can talk anytime. Come on. You're the girl of my dreams. This is how I win. This is my win scenario for this game right now. So how's school and everything going? How the fuck? <laughs> it's annoying. It's all right. How do you... You can't ask me about school after that. Like, I can't... You don't... Same old, same old. So how's your friend, uh, Mike? Well, let's check on Mike. Maybe, I, maybe that can help influence my answers here. Entrepreneurs Club at the Innovation Center. And all I want to hear is the message beep. My dreams have got to kiss me because I don't get sleep. No. Entrepreneurs Club. Okay, so he uh, he's an opportunist. Um, he's not really my friend. <laughs> Man, that's sad. That sucks when people change. Yeah, doesn't it? <laughs> what about your other friend, Emma? What is Emma doing? Where you at? I will try to fix you. Cold play. People change. Memories don't. Lower your eyelids to die with the sun. Okay. <laughs> um, we hang out sometimes. She likes cold play. Is she just a friend or? She's just a friend. Emma is just a friend. She's always just been a friend. You're you're my only girl. Oh god. What do you mean? Talking right now is just kind of hard. I've got to go soon anyways. But we'll talk again later. Of course. Yes. Yes, we will. <sighs> man. My goodness gracious. What a life. So, man. <laughs> 
very I like I feel legitimately bad about that. Like the, the this this game is doing a fantastic job of emulating what a real world scenario like this, like how it would play out and how a scenario not exactly like this, but similar to this has played out for me personally in the past in in, in different ways. Um and so that, that that's really influencing my experience here uh, in a positive way. Just a lot of uh, stirring up some memories and things like that uh, for me personally. And I, I think that's a lot of the purpose of this game right now. Really doing well here. 2006, senior year, college. Borat. Oh, Christ. <laughs> High school musical. No. 300. Yeah, it's probably... I don't know what these ones are. I don't know... Like, let's pick an animal this time. It's the last year. Let's pick an animal. Um, I have always liked whales. I've always thought whales were kind of cool. So we're going to go with whales. That is a whale, right? Yeah, it's a whale. Why wouldn't it be a whale? It wouldn't be a dolphin. It doesn't look like a dolphin. What's a question mark mean? You haven't clicked that before. Enter screen names to unlock icons. Wait, I'm, I'm confused. Enter screen names. That's weird. Um, I I don't know. That that was weird. Hey. How are you? How's it shaking? <laughs> oh my God. Uh, no, we're not. We're not asking her how it's shaking. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Things could be better. Uh, no, it's not usually how I would respond. I'm alright. Was AIM relevant in 2006? Really? I, I don't remember. I don't, I don't remember when MySpace started first creeping up. How have you been? I don't know how long it's been since we talked. Everything's been really good. Do you have any plans? <laughs> What's new in your life? Do you have any plans this weekend? Yes. No. Let's let's hang out. Hmm, maybe that's too forward. I think me and Brad might go to a concert. What? What? Oh, oh, I don't know if you knew me and him got back together. You got back together with that douche. Even after that awful breakup? <sighs> you sicken me. You sicken me. Well, it was so awful because we cared for each other so much. How's your friend Emma doing? I I don't care. <laughs> what does well lead to? What does that mean? Let's go with that. So now I barely see her. It's whatever. It's whatever. Man. Virtual me is striking out here. I suppose I am too. <laughs> well, college is almost over anyways. Can you believe we're almost adults? <laughs> Will you miss it? Yeah, I guess so, but I'm excited to be done too. Do you miss high school? We had some good times. I kind of miss high school. I've always I've always said I miss the interaction of high school. Just been seeing people all the time. <laughs> she does not feel the same. <laughs> I'd rather not think about the past. Sure. Oh, sure. No, no, we're not apologizing. We're not being that guy. I'm 
I'm just tired of reliving memories. So any plans for graduation? Uh, I'll ask her if she's all set. I think so. I still have to order my gown and stuff. What are you doing this summer? Let's hang out here with Brad try to find a job. Yeah, no, let's do this. Can we talk about things? Because this is awkward. Can't I can't keep up the idle chatter here. What what did I what am I doing? Do anything fun recently? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Okay, game. I see what you did there. Not really. I've just been working. <sighs> this is very interesting. What's what's going on here? I want to see you. I really want to see you. Can I see you this summer? That, oh, what am I doing? Are you doing homework? What is going on? <laughs> the game is taking over. Yeah, just some stuff due tomorrow. <sighs> okay. Let's try this a third time. Do you ever miss things? I think I can see what the game is trying to do. Yeah, I do. I do see what the game is trying to do. How are classes? So the game is... Based on my decisions in the past, the game has now established my character. Uh, this end result here. I, I am now... I don't want to spoil anything. Ev every attempt I've made to try and salvage... Uh, or, 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 or at least repair uh, the past in some respect, uh, this virtual representation of myself has decided against it um, for whatever reason. Maybe for her benefit, maybe for my own. But that's, that's very, very interesting. Very interesting. They're good. Same old, same old. This is the twice now that goodbye has been presented to me. I, th I think I can see where this is leading. This is very, uh, very sad, actually. Um, let's try it a fourth time, just for the sake of experimentation. Oh, wow. Will we ever be the way we were? Wow. Is this it for us? Oh, man. This is like, like I'm fighting, but it can't win. Can't do it. Wow. 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 That's something. Wow. That's, uh... Fantastic. Really, really good story. Really, really good. Uh, I enjoyed that a lot, actually, going through all of that. Uh, that was... It wasn't... It was incredibly nostalgic for me, and I think it will be nostalgic for most people, but there, there, there are things that have happened in my life that have taken place in a, an extremely similar fashion. And so for me, 
this game has really brought up um, uh, some old memories, some good, some bad. Um, that, in a way, has made this whole experience um, much more emotional. Um, I can definitely feel what virtual me is going through. Um, and just at the end there, the game, uh, just no matter how hard you try, uh, y y you know, you things the things change, you know, and all that's left you can do is say goodbye, and that's, I mean, that's the story of life sometimes. Uh, but that, that, I mean, that's very, that's very good. Uh, very good, very, very good. <laughs> What what time is it? It's it's like three thirty a.m. now that I've just finished this, so that's very nice. Very very thought provoking game, um, and I like that a lot. For this is this was good stuff. Again, this game came out on the twentieth. It is free to play. Um, if you've made it this far, there's probably not much more worth in playing it, um, unless you want to make different choices and see if the outcome changes. Um, I don't. I personally don't think I'll play this through this again to try to get a different outcome because th this was a solid experience, and I think this is. I don't want to change it because you can't change life. You know what I mean? This was my experience with the game, uh, and I think I'm going to keep that, hold on to it, just as I hold on to the memories that this game reminded me of. Uh, and I think that's that's ultimately it was it's it was its goal. <laughs> Very good, very good. So that was Emily is Away. Um, thank you very much for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I certainly did. My name is Kevin Ryan. Uh, remember, I am the host of the Broken Glasses podcast that goes up every Monday. It is available on SoundCloud uh, as well as iTunes. Um, email us with any questions or comments that you might have for uh, the cast at brokenglassesnetwork at gmail.com. That is brokenglassesnetwork at gmail.com. Okay, guys. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you guys later. Bye.